Vermont is a place that values the good things in life. Small communities, working farms and forests, outdoor recreation and high quality food. We also value the use of local resources and self-sustaining solutions, whether it's eating locally or heating locally. Over the past 30 years, our small state has become a national leader in an emerging renewable energy field, modern wood heating. These heating systems make use of state-of-the-art technology and use locally sourced wood fuels that support the local economy and help create jobs. Today, you'll find a greater concentration of installed modern wood heating systems in Vermont than anywhere else in North America. In the mid-1980s, this modern wood heating really started with Callis Elementary School. It went on to become sort of the, the keystone system for everything that happened after that. In the years to follow, more and more schools and institutions began using wood chip and pellet heating systems, spreading the benefit of this technology not only to Vermont, but to states throughout the U.S., using our successes as a model. Today, the use of modern wood heating in Vermont is common in numerous sectors, from schools and colleges to businesses to homes. With 54 schools currently heating with chips and pellets, more than one-third of all K-12 students in Vermont attend schools heated with wood fuel. In addition, five colleges and universities, or one-quarter of all campus building space in Vermont, are heated with central wood chip systems. We're heating about 90% of our campus through this central heating plant. So it's really, really nice to sign a contract with a local Vermonter and know that we're helping them and helping our own economy. In public facilities such as churches and fire stations, as well as residential buildings and single-family homes, wood chip and pellet systems are keeping Vermonters warm and saving them money. Our typical customer is usually a residential 2,500 square foot house uh, looking to save money from oil. I would say we've increased our deliveries almost 300% in the past two years, so the growth has been astronomical. In trying to meet our mission, which is to provide affordable housing to folks, we need to keep the costs affordable, and biomass can play a key role in keeping those costs sustainable both in terms of economically sustainable, environmentally sustainable, and I think finally, they're becoming sustainable in the sense of a workforce. When ACTR, a regional transportation agency, decided to build a new building, it opted for modern wood heating. We looked for a balance between um, what was going to uh, be the most cost-effective way to do that as well as the most energy-efficient way to do that. And ultimately, we settled on wood pellets. Vermont's first wood chip fire district heating system delivering metered hot water was recently completed in the state capital Montpelier. District heating uses a central boiler plant to heat numerous buildings in a downtown area. There is a tremendous potential for the expanded use of district heating in other communities, looking to lower their dependence on fossil heating fuels. Other state capitals are looking at that, other communities are looking at it. Vermont should play a leadership role nationally in, in going forward in the development of district heat fueled with wood chips. The growth of modern wood heating in Vermont is due to many factors, including access to forest resources and a history of good forest management, long and cold winters, and high heating fuel costs. Its success also stems from the work of the Biomass Energy Resource Center and partner organizations, as well as strong state policies that encourage renewable energy use. The Biomass Energy Resource Center has been instrumental in bringing us as far as we have gone in the last 30 years. The Biomass Energy Resource Center is a program of the Vermont Energy Investment Corporation, a mission-driven, not-for-profit organization. For over a decade, Burke and our partners have been helping communities, businesses, and governments reduce the use of fossil heating fuels by advancing the use of modern wood heating. Our goal is to keep forests forest, and it's somewhat counterintuitive, but that one of the last best ways to keep forests forest is to work with forests. So the counterintuitive part is that you can, you can save forests by cutting trees. 
The idea is, then becomes, well, can we have these mixed operations where we're tending forest health, meeting landowner objectives from be it recreation, scenery, aesthetics, timber production, wildlife habitat enhancement, flood resiliency, and have as byproducts of those stewardship uses of the land, the low grade material going into heating, that's what we're shooting for. You know, that additional demand is, is fantastic to have. It helps keep, keep the loggers going, helps complete these projects, and you know, helps, helps people get paid, and it's, it's great that we're using the resource. It's been a huge part of our history, and, and we want it to be part of our future. And so we envision healthy communities, healthy economies, built on healthy land. This model of what we've done here in Vermont is applicable in many places around the country. Places that depend on oil, it's places where there is a forest industry and there's logging going on at some level. We have this wonderful example in Europe because they've done it so successfully and so well. They formed a, a sister state relationship between Vermont and Upper Austria. We want to learn from that and we entered into an MOU where I think uh, we'll be able to exchange ideas technologies, hopefully be able to advance both of our economies and goals of trying to reach our energy future. While Vermont has come far in the use of modern wood heating, the future holds even greater possibilities. With our forest resource capacity, it's estimated that Vermont can more than double its responsible use of modern wood heating to reach over 30% of the state's total space heating needs. In the years ahead, we will see further expansion in bulk pellet boilers for homes and small community buildings, wood chip boilers for large buildings, and district heating for downtowns throughout the state. Through this work, we can continue to create jobs and build local economies, reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, and better manage our forests, while serving as a model for other states and regions to follow.